Campaigners against drugs and sport say Lance Armstrong personified the worst elements of doping and cycling and better role models could be found for advertising campaigns. An estimated thousand cyclists joined the disgraced seven times Tour de France champion on a waterfront bike ride in Auckland this morning. Jill Bonnet joined the crowd. Families, school competitors and cycling commuters joined the 45-year-old Texan for an 18-kilometre ride from Mechanics Bay to St Heliers and back. Lance Armstrong arrived on his bike and was happy to see the crowds of fans. I used to do these all the time. Obviously a lot of people would show up, but it's been years since I uh, did it. and uh, It's cool. It's, it's an honour. Armstrong, who was stripped of his seven Tour de France titles because of his use of performing enhancing drugs, is in New Zealand for a promotional campaign for Lion Breweries. He says he knows there are feelings of betrayal among fans, sponsors and the cycling fraternity, and he can't make up for what he did. We all sort of know the story now. and, and For me, the most important things are, you know, I, I walk through my day and try to raise five kids and, and stay fit myself. And, um, it's, you know, if people think I'm curled up in a fetal position, they're wrong. I mean, that wouldn't help anybody and it wouldn't help my family. And uh, so I still get out, get, you know, travel the world and, and uh, we're in a good place. Armstrong chatted, signed autographs and posed for selfies after the ride. Barnaby Cleveshaw, a 15-year-old competitive cyclist, says while he doesn't condone the drug cheat's actions, he was still keen to meet him. It's pretty exciting to be able to like ride with someone so famous and someone so influential to the sport. It's pretty cool like to have someone like that high up come to New Zealand and to be able to ride with him. Another fan, Sean Cox, was disappointed when Armstrong pulled out of a previous visit to New Zealand. He's just such an incredible athlete and when you, and when you watch those tours end to end and you see how difficult they are and, and how difficult uh, the courses are and, and the fact that he's competing with people that are equally as bad, I can't hold it against the guy, you know. But the chief executive of Drug Free Sport New Zealand, Graham Steele, says Lance Armstrong should be ashamed of his legacy. It wasn't just the fact that he cheated, along with many others, but that he was so vigorous in, in trying to get rid of anybody that, that might have tried to reveal the truth. Lime Brewery says it's using Armstrong to tell a cautionary tale called The Consequence and couldn't think of anyone better to highlight that actions have consequences. It says it depicts how much you stand to lose when you pursue success at all costs. But Graham Steele says there are more admirable sports people to act as role models in advertising campaigns. In Auckland for Checkpoint, Jill Bonnet.